Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Tez. I look a little different. I got my hair cut off. I think I got like this much cut off. I got it short in the back and then longer in the front. And it's really short. I got it done at like 11 this morning and she curled it. So I don't know how I'm feeling about it, but I needed a change. I am going to be bringing you today my fall favorites or my September favorites. I don't know what I will name it, but whatever it is named, I hope you guys enjoy. And without further ado, let's hop into the video. Transitioning into the fall season, I bought these cute little boots that are super fall colored and yes, I got these at Old Navy. They were like 50 something dollars, but I needed them because I thought they were cute and these are in a size six and i don't know why you guys care but just to let you know yeah i thought they were super cute and they're really fallish if you know what i mean also for turning into the fall season it was actually the first day of winter i'm pretty sure because it snowed and now all the grass is white because it's full of snow and that was all overnight but to transition into this terrible weather you need some cute sweaters so i saw this one and i fell in love with it it has like these little knits i guess like it looks like it's tied up here if you know what i mean i also got this one in this color and oh you can kind of see this one better but it's like tied up here and it's very fallish and warm cozy winter type thing <laughs> and i got these ones from stitches so these are definitely my favorite because i like to be warm <laughs> my skin always seems to be getting dry like my elbows like they seem to be getting ashy if that's what people say but i picked up this one from Bath and Body Works. It's called Hello Beautiful. Honestly, I just bought it because of the packaging, but it smells like flowers and that's not really me because I'm the type of person to be, like I like the scent of, hmm, I don't know. You know like when you go to like Lush or something and they have that certain scent and it smells like you're at a hair salon, it's very, urban i don't know how to describe it or if you go to a hair salon and they have like aveda aveda products that smell is seriously one of the best smelling things that's literally my type but this is super flowery and i thought i would like it so i picked that up and this is not really fall but it's definitely one of my favorites <laughs> This is my new purse. It's so tiny. Like, it's literally almost the size of my hand. And, um, it's so cute. Like, I love it. I got this one at Forever 21. Well, not this. It didn't come with this. But it's like this, and it comes with a long thing that you put around here. And then you could carry it like that. And I wanted a gray purse for the longest time. This one was like 30 something dollars, but I was obsessed with it and I wanted it so bad because it was gray. So I had to get this and I've been using it every single day. <laughs> On to beauty products. This infla infallible, infallible pro glow foundation is definitely one of my favorites. I love it so much and <laughs> It's way too dark for my skin tone because I did get this one when I had a spray tan, but my spray tan washed off by the time I could actually use this, so I never got to use it until now because I got this thing, so I'll tell you about this after. But this foundation I'm wearing right now, and I actually love it. Like, it blends out very well. It says it's radiant finish. I think all foundation that's a radiant finish all like almost always look the same so yeah hydrating yes it doesn't dry your skin out and it's for 24 hours I do notice it does stay on for a really long time so yeah I love it 
but because we're in Canada and we're going into this cold, freezing, cold weather, there's no sun and I'm not going to be able to get a tan. So I went to Bath and Body Works. No, I'm just kidding. Not Bath and Body Works. I went to the body shop and I heard some YouTuber talking about the lightning foundation thing that you put a couple drops in your very dark foundation and then it lightens it up for you so you could it's like kind of white I guess so there's either a darkening one and I definitely recommend this because they do work if your foundation is too light for you then get the darker drops and then if your foundation is too dark for you then get the lightning drops to lighten it up so it's definitely a lifesaver, so you don't need to go keep buying new foundations to match your skin tone. You can literally buy this. This was about like $23. Yes, I think it was $23, $22, something like that. But love this so much. Before I do my foundation, I always need a base or a... Um, a primer to put on before I like actually put on my foundation so I got two for you I got a dupe I'm joking it's not really a dupe but it's definitely something that works so this one is my new all-time favorite somebody recommended this on my comments down below I asked for a good primer no it was on Instagram somebody told me this so they said the Too Faced Hangover. I didn't want the poreless one because I hate matte looks. Like, it's just me. I don't know why, but I just don't like matte foundations. So I never bought the matte one. I bought the Replenishing Face Primer with Coconut Water. So new favorite primer. This is this. It looks like this. It's super cute and I love it. But if you want looking for something a little bit cheaper, this is from the NYX. Um, this is from the drugstore, clearly. This is the Studio Photogenic Primer, HD Studio Photogenic. It's like a light blue. I used to use these in my makeup tutorials and I didn't really like it, but it does work and it's really good now that I <laughs> used it more often. I'm really into skincare and taking care of my skin to make sure I don't really have blemishes and stuff, but I'm the type of girl that has like big bags underneath her eyes and I don't mean like purple bags but like like when I smile like I have like bags yeah, those kind of bags but this is the Kate Somerville I got this from Sephora points so I don't know if you can buy this in Sephora or this particular size one you could buy it in another size this is the Kate Somerville uh, goat milk deep puffing eye balm it you it's like a lip chap but it's not <laughs> so you're gonna put it underneath your eyes and it works most eye creams that I've used and deep puffing ones that like refresh your face they don't work and this one surprisingly did work and I love it so much from the day that I got the Sephora points I used this first thing and saw if it worked and it really did if you use a day and night you can definitely see changes in your eyes and days that I don't wear makeup I feel more confident not wearing makeup because I don't really have as much of puffiness as I would without using this so yeah that wraps up this video I hope you guys enjoyed and if you do like a product or want to try a product out I promise you I'm giving you my honest opinions on all of these things that I just told you that I like and I, if you do get them, let me know and tell me how you like them and comment down things that you like that I should try out and then maybe they will be in my next video. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Give it a big thumbs up if you did and subscribe down below for further videos of me. And yeah, I love you guys. Stay weird and be you. <laughs> <laughs>